Right now, Steve, police are still outside this home, which they are calling an act of crime, saying they want to make sure that no one gets in there and messes up any of the evidence. But this is active right now, and we are talking to folks who live on the street who say they are really shocked that this yellow tape is up outside this house. Easily standing out from the snow on Mill Street in Bethalto is yellow police tape. The site compelled Noel Russo to speak up about her friend Andrew Brooks. I wasn't trying to butt my nose and I just wanted it to be said. It's here that this morning the bodies of 30 year old Brooks, his mother, 59 year old Cherry Yates and 32 year old John McMillan were found. I mean, he was one of the most kind hearted, generous people. I mean, anybody that knew him would know that he would have done anything for anybody. Investigators discovered the bodies while doing a welfare check. I came out about three something to go to work this morning and seeing everything going on and um, it, it makes you kind of wonder. Police are not linking any suspects, but acknowledge Hazelwood police took into custody Brady Witcher and Brittany McMillan at this motel. News 4 was the only station to get a glimpse inside the hotel room as crews worked to clean it. Police in Clarksville, Tennessee released this surveillance video from a Walmart. Investigators say it shows the pair also wanted for a home invasion in the Nashville area on Wednesday. And this video shows a wooded area in Alabama where police say the pair killed a 31 year old woman. It's sad. I mean, you know, it's especially this time of year, you know, you know I'm sure their, their family's hurting and, you know, all I can do at this time is, you know, give them my thoughts and prayers. Police have not named Brady Witcher or Brittany McMillan as suspects, but they do tell us that they have subjects of interest in custody. Reporting live in Bethalto, Illinois, Vincent Blandon, News 4.